Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another tutorial. And today we're going to be making music with artificial intelligence via Amper Music. This is a free website. It's in the beta stage right now, so there are some kinks, but I played around with it pretty much all morning and I'm impressed. The thing that I like the most about it is that it's royalty free and supposedly always unique. So every time you hit the redo button or create button, it's going to give you something that is 100% original. So if you're someone like me who cranks out videos, I've got other projects that I, I need backing music for. This is just a dream come true because I don't want to have to sit down and completely write my own score every time I need to crank out a, you know, a minute long video, a minute and a half long video. So this is, is awesome. If I come into the tutorial, it it's going to pull up the project I just made. But uh, the really, really cool thing about this is that it, I can download this, I can save this project, I can come back and edit it. And uh, it's really, really cool. I can actually put the video inside of the project while I'm working on it if I wanted to. And just, just a lot going on here. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to do it. Uh, this is the what's called the uh, pro view here. Uh, there's an easy view, but I prefer this one because I like uh, to change stuff over time. But this was all generated by the quote-unquote artificial intelligence from Amper Music. So let's go ahead and listen to what I've created. So uh, a couple of issues that I've noticed before we get into how to do this, um, they're crack there's some crackling on some of it, which is really just not good. I mean, I couldn't use this in a professional video because of that crackling, but I mean, these drums sound perfect. There's also a big difference between the amplitudes here. You can visually see it in the waveform, and there's no way to turn it up or turn it down. So there's no mixing available. You get what you get, and you got to use it, or you got to redo, which you just hit this little button right here. But let's go ahead and make a new uh, new track. So I'm going to create a new project here, and I'm going to go to Pro because Simple is just too easy. And uh, you just got to click in the timeline and it's going to give you a section here and let's just go ahead and create a 30 second clip uh, and what I'm going to do now is come into this thing which is the edit section and we're going to choose the type of music so let's go 90s pop and let's get some uh, exciting 90s pop music and you can come into instrumentation and choose uh, which instruments are involved you can uh, get rid of them if you want you can listen to them you can go into the change the band, which is gonna give you uh, a set of instruments essentially. So if we go, uh, let's go old pop, it will change the, and then we can actually add instruments in here by going uh, heading add instruments and we can choose from bass, synth, keys, percussion, drum kits. Uh, but let's just go with what they've given us from the actual preset there. The tempo, let's change the tempo to 128 just because we love EDM right and duration we can actually come in and change it perfectly but I'm just gonna leave it as what it is let's, let's change it to 30 30 seconds so the program is gonna write something that's gonna end right at 30 seconds and that's pretty sweet so let's hit save and then we're gonna click to render which is just gonna make it uh, it's gonna create the song essentially And you can see that was actually really quick. That was real time. I didn't speed up the video or anything. And now we have a 30 second track. So let's listen. And that is really exciting 90s pop. Most of the music that comes out of these things, this isn't the first AI website, or quote unquote AI website, that creates music that I've used, and they all really sound kind of hokey. You know what I mean? 
I mean, I guess that sounds like 90s pop, but not really. You know what I mean? The best ones that I found out of all these uh, moods and styles would be the... I don't know how to get back into... Oh, here you go. Uh, the one that I really like is the cinematic. Uh, these other ones really sound too wishy-washy. But as far as cinematic is concerned, it's got some really great stuff in here. So let's try Dark Atmospheric because, you know, I just love the name. Uh, instrumentation, it updates for us. We've got Dreamy Six Foot Grand. But let's get Nothing Is Real. That's pretty much going to be awesome. 90 BPM, sure. Duration, 30 seconds again. Save. And it's just going to say, go ahead and render if you want to hear it. Boom. Click render. Let it do its thing. So it's nothing if not really, really fast. <laughs> Let's check it out. Cool, so now what we can do is actually add on to this. So I'm just gonna click over here and let's pull this over and then come back into the editing section and we're gonna add the same thing. So I'm gonna go to um, dark atmospheric again and I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna choose that same nothing is real, boom. But I'm actually gonna get rid of like maybe, uh, I like the, Let's get rid of this electric guitar and add something like percussion. Let's add some uh, percussion effects. Wadoosh. What's the wadoosh? All right, let's add that and maybe. Let's add that and see what it does with that. I mean, so I'm gonna come in 90 BPM is good. I'm gonna come into track duration again and I'm gonna make it, oh, look at that. We can sync it right up to the starting point. I didn't know you could do that until just now. So I'm gonna go from uh, 30 seconds to 60 seconds and hit save. And as you can see, it syncs it right up for me. I did not know that until I just figured that out just now. This is perfect. So usually you can click this if you have if you want to stay kind of similar. So let's click that. But I don't need to do that because I've set it up the way I want it to, and it's already at the same BPM, and everything is set the way I want it, so I don't have to do that. But if you want to use that in the future, just know that that's there. So let's go ahead and click Render. All right, so let's see how that transition worked out. Sounding pretty good, and let's go ahead and, I don't know why that got added, but let's just go ahead and do one more. This tutorial's getting pretty long, but I'm gonna go dark atmospheric again. I'm gonna go nothing is real again, but I'm gonna get rid of the round pulse and the dreamy electric guitar, and we're gonna add some more percussion. Let's see what this is. Sure. Let's add that and that and And perfect, I'm gonna come in and sync it up again, and this should be great, guys. Let's see what this does. Let's see if the, the whole track comes out sounding perfect. All right, here we go, let's check it out.
Where are my drums? Custom band, I got all my drums in here. It's just got the pads, dude. I don't know what happened there. So I don't really like it. So what I can do is just hit this button here. But what I'm gonna also do is click this, which is gonna use it, um, the same key, the same everything as these other two, and kind of make it blend together, I would guess. So let's go ahead and click to render now. Okay, so I uh, went ahead and it redid everything, actually. So let's go ahead and listen to what we have now. Okay, so we've gotten way off track here. I don't like what's happened, so I, don't, I need to go back and undo everything. So I mean, that's where I'm gonna stop right now because we're uh, running pretty late on time here, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I, I am still trying to figure out the best way to use this thing, but I mean, the fact that I can now download this and use it in my videos without any problems, and it's gonna be a unique sound as opposed to that YouTube library or whatever, and it didn't take me long. I mean, we've been doing this video for about 17 minutes, and we've got like a decent sounding track. And the fact that it's got like endless capability just to keep rewriting it until I get the best sounding one is, is just phenomenal. Great tool. It's gonna go far if they keep adding to it and adding some features that, you know, music producers like myself are gonna be looking for. But just keeping it super simple with the simple mode and cranking out great cinematic style music with, I mean, those other ones, they're gonna need some help with those other ones because they, like I said, they sound kind of hokey, but it's a great start to uh, collaborating with artificial intelligence. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.